Hi, having a good day? Sure hope so. Welcome back to the four o'clock show. A new festival is coming to South Mississippi, offering a variety of fun for the entire family. Earlier today, I spoke with organizers Taylor Hunter and Brandy St. Cyr about their hopes for their first Sunflower Festival. Taylor Hunter, Brandy St. Cyr, thanks for being with us on the four o'clock show today. This is very exciting. Taylor, how did you come up with the idea of the Sunflower Festival? So our goal for the event was because I'm a small business owner and then my partner Brandy, she's also a small business owner as well. So I really wanted to encourage other small businesses um, to be like a sunflower because they take a lot of resilience and they also have a lot of beauty. And so my original thought was because sunflowers, they don't grow by themselves. So as a community, we have to grow together. Sure, well, that's a beautiful actual <laughs> mission, you. I think, yeah. going into it. So Brandy, what can people expect? This is gonna be on the 14th out of the Jackson County yes. Fairgrounds. And yes. I know you guys have a full lineup of events. We do. Oh my God, so many. So we've got like 60 vendors, all different local things from like ax throwing, to, I know we're setting up, we've got other craft vendors, we have uh, a video game trailer, all kinds of different things. We've got live music, um, we have a car show going on for some right. of our gentlemen so that they don't get bored uh -huh. while the ladies are shopping. Oh, okay, well you're we've making got, some stereotypical yeah. assumptions there uh, now. <laughs> The but I, I know I know exactly uh, where you're going <laughs> yeah, with that. Yeah, so it's a little bit of something for everybody, And for Taylor, sure. why do you think it's important? I mean, I'm all for, WLOX is all for supporting buying local and, and, mm. and small businesses and everything else. Why do you think that's important, just kind of for the heartbeat of Mississippi and America? Well, mainly, mainly I feel like we have events around the area, but we don't have events that are really strategically planned to support other local businesses, other local small community businesses, which is what makes our community thrive like pretty much everything that we do we can do through small businesses so I really represent that as a small business owner myself and I'm sure Brandy can you know concur to that as yeah, well and Brandy we don't have a lot of time left but what are your expectations in terms of attendance where people will be coming from hopefully drawing a little bit from yeah, beyond for sure. just Jackson County yeah. and Harrison so County we invite everybody from all over the coast from all across the the area to come and see us. Um, we're hoping for a really good turnout. This is our very first inaugural one. So as to numbers, we aren't sure yet, but we're hoping for the best. Yeah, we're well, so am I. Come out. So am yeah. I. Uh, well, wait, there's the information right there. Awesome. It's the inaugural Sunflower Festival. You'll want to turn up at the uh, Jackson County Fairgrounds, easy to find in beautiful Pascagoula from 11 to 7 on September 14th. We encourage everyone to attend and everyone to support small businesses and you're probably going to have a lot of fun along the way too. Oh yeah. Brandy and uh, Taylor, thanks so much uh, for being with us today and uh, good luck Thank with the so event. Much. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for having us.